Hi, I'm Miranda McGeary. I am 16 and an ambassador from Brooklyn, New York. And welcome to the 2021 Virtual Gold Achievement Gala. I'm so excited to be here with Janine Lybird, Chief Social Impact and Communications Officer at BET and one of our 2021 gala honorees. Welcome, Janine. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here, Miranda. Thank you for that wonderful welcome. With you being a Girl Scout mom, can you share with us your favorite memory? Hands down, most fun was the sleepover in the Museum of Natural History. It was just one of those experiences that you just never, ever forget. And I'm so grateful for those opportunities to do those special things, because I can't think of anyone else that I know that got a chance to do that. <laughs> so I would love to talk more about your career. What is it like to work for the leading media destination for Black entertainment, music, culture, and news? You know, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I think one of the most important things is if you find a career path that you can learn constantly, that you feel energized, that you could make a difference and you can have fun, it's kind of a perfect mix. And I've always loved media, I've always loved music. And when I had the opportunity to work at Viacom CBS and then BET, I just, the world opened up really about what I could do and understanding what my skills are and were, and also just how we can make an impact um, in the world on big issues. You have had an incredible and dynamic career in politics, marketing, and media. Can you please share a bit more about your leadership journey from when you were my age to where you are today? I would take a bus to school um, about 45 minutes from Flatbush to Bay Ridge. And in that ride, I would always ask myself a lot of questions like, why are all the neighborhoods different? And why do I have to take so long to get to school? And why does this neighborhood look completely different than my neighborhood? Um, and that really set me on this path of a wanting to know more about public policy and government and how cities are created. For me, my leadership style is led by curiosity. Um, it was never about knowing the answer, but figuring out what does the environment try to tell me <laughs> so that I could solve whatever that problem, private problem is. So for me, when I was working in uh, local government, um, it was figuring out about children and families and how could we help um, either kids in the adoption um, facilities or how can we help fathers and families um, grow up together? Um, how can we help people who are illiterate learn how to read and participate in the economy of New York City? I kind of switched up from public policy to um, entertainment, but I still have a focus on social impact. And I'm able to provide and have those same conversations with incredible leaders to help solve these big, big questions. Um, how do you approach your essential commitment? to impacting the critical issues facing the Black community today, especially this past year. One of the things that uh, I'm doing right now with my team is spending some days, we're calling them learning days, and just going out into the field and talking to leaders in our community of national organizations, not-for-profits, foundations, and understanding where are you seeing success? Where are you seeing challenges? How can a media company like ours better support your work better improve the lives of our community. So it's really a constant state of learning. I think for us, we know that our superpower is obviously creating content. So we're always focusing on delivering content that can raise awareness and then uh, spurn action. But for me, the most important thing is always to, again, remain curious, make sure we understand the issues and that we galvanize internally so that on their, when there are issues of importance um, and issues where we need to be coordinated, we're doing that. So you're from Brooklyn, I'm from Brooklyn. What's the most amazing thing um, about being a girl from Brooklyn? Brooklyn, it's, it's populated with people of all colors and mm -hmm. religions. And I think it's important to be surrounded by everyone because you get to learn different cultures and you get to learn what it's like being another individual in this world. 
It is true. You have that opportunity to be around so many people and it changes and opens up your worldview, um, which is pretty, pretty incredible. Um, so tell me how long have you been a Girl Scout and what has been the best thing about being a Girl Scout? Well, I've been a Girl Scout for 12 years. And I guess the best thing about being a Girl Scout is meeting new people, like having a sisterhood, being able to volunteer for people, knowing what's wrong in my community and learning how I can fix it. The Girl Scouts of Greater New York's mission is to build girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. What does our mission mean to you? For me, you know, I kind of walk through this world very clearly in my space as a Black woman, and you only get to be a Black woman after you've been a Black girl. <laughs> and what you have to do is figure out how the world around you is going to empower you, how you're going to take everything that's coming at you and become your best self. And to have the structure and the support and the love of the troop leaders and the Girl Scout mission and values to surround and curate and help develop uh, young girls all over the world, all over our beautiful city, there's nothing more important than that to me. And if you strengthen a woman, if you strengthen a young girl, you strengthen communities. And so for me, this is really the most important. So again, couldn't be happier to be here and uh, support the incredible work. So what are the things that you think um, have the biggest influence on you and your peers? I think that positive influences are people who have goals and dreams and motivation to work towards, you know, to work towards living their life to the fullest. No, oh, that's so powerful. What advice would you give your 15 year old self? Be patient with yourself. Everything isn't going to come at once. And where you are is perfectly fine. Thank you for that great advice. Um, do you have a sense of your career path? Okay, so when I was younger, I knew that I liked science and math, and I knew that I love helping people. And I say in about, when I was in third grade, I decided that I want to become a neurosurgeon. Oh, so. that is a beautiful thing. So I cannot wait to see um, what what happens and how you can contribute in that in that space congratulations to you and all that you've achieved i love your big goals and i can't wait to watch you achieve them congratulations to you and thank you so much for having this conversation with me i really appreciated the time thank you and congratulations to you as well for being as successful as you are in this big city this big world <laughs> thank you, thank you.